Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be um, showing you my enamel pin collection. So this is going to be difficult because I have a lot of pins. So I was kind of thinking uh, how do I do this? Like do I just show you the pin, hold them up and um, film close-ups for you guys or whatever and I thought that would just take too long and too hard so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a flat lay for you guys and um, I will go through all of the pins on my little flags that I have and wherever else they are so I have a lot of them on things and scattered around so I'm gonna try and gather them and um, hopefully I don't miss any but obviously I could <laughs> there could be just some um, in certain places that I just don't know of that I've forgotten about so I apologize for that but um, I have a very big collection so um, I think what we'll start with is the spooky box one so they're on um, the spooky box flag that I got so this is my spooky box um, flag I have most of my spooky box pins on this including some that I got from Mr. Luna a while back so what I'm actually thinking of doing is showing you guys this close up we're gonna do a flat lay so that you can see so I won't be in it I'll be just showing you them I'll like you'll see my hands basically and we'll get there in a minute and um, I'll go through all of the pins I have fairly quickly I don't want to stick on them for too long also um, I will just say they're all spooky box unless I say they're Mr. Luna, so that I'm not going on and on keep telling you that it's spooky box and um, yeah so I want to take them all off and put them back on because um, I'm running out of space as you guys can see I have no more room and I'm still getting spooky box so I want to be able to add in any new ones that I get so we have this pin one and then we have this other one which I won't be doing anything with today but I definitely will show you everyone that's on it so I got this little flag from um, Kat, Catnip Illustrations. Um, she is on YouTube actually. She does YouTubes. I absolutely love them. And she has an Etsy shop where she has these flags. And um, I honestly want to get another one because it's so nice. It's there's a lovely colour and um I just put some of my miscellaneous ones on it or ones that I thought went well with the background. Okay, so I also have another thing uh with pins on it out there as well, which I will show you guys in a bit so I think we'll start with my spooky bin pin collection flag and my spooky box pins okay when we get into the other pins guys I honestly genuinely cannot tell you where I got everything because I, I forget where I got them I will do my absolute best to try and google or source what I got some of them I got on Etsy so I might be able to look up past my uh, my past orders and stuff but overall I mightn't be able to include a link to every single one some of them mightn't even be made anymore so um, if there is one that you really really want and you're really interested in just leave me a comment below and I will try and figure out um, where exactly I did get it um, because it's gonna be hard it's gonna be difficult okay let's get to it so guys here is my pin collection um, so sorry about this layout um, it's the best I can do this is on a tripod you can see the leg here I apologize but anyway this is the pins so um, we'll start at the bottom because I think all of these are Mr. Luna. the other thing is I changed the backs of these um, and I use these rubber ones now I bought like a load of rubber ones online and I always change the, the backs of it to the rubber ones because I feel like they uh, stay a lot better but anyway, this one is from Mr. Luna. You can see it was in one of the pin description boxes. It says Your Faith and it's supposedly, is it like a tarot card or something like that? I don't know. But anyway, that's the first one is Your Coffin or Mine. <laughs> and um, there's a little skeleton in it. Again, Mr. Luna. I really loved getting those pin descriptions, but in the end I just, I couldn't afford to keep getting them. Um, we have a stiletto shoe with a dagger as the heel. Um, it is pretty cool and it's matte black. Um, then we have this one. I forget what this represents. Is it a goddess or something like that? I'm not sure. Oh no! Come back here. But it's um, sparkly. It's really nice and really sparkly. So you have two crescent moons and a full moon. And um, yeah, really nice. Then we have down here, we have another dagger. 
there. Um, it's going through a skull this time. Really nice. I really like that one. And it's actually quite a nice size too. Um, they're all very black as you can see. Jeez, I just gave myself a fright. I could see this and I thought it was a spider. I was about to scream. Oh my god. <laughs> so this is square. It says dead is the new black. Again from a pin description. I do have some um, unboxings of those. If you guys want to check them out. Oh Jesus. This is just a rose. Which is really nice. And this one with Mystic and Luna as well, as well as well. So these are bones. I originally thought they were candles. <laughs> But um, bones make more sense, obviously. So um, I think a lot of these might be still available on Mystic and Luna's site. So do check it out. Now this one, I forget if it was Mystic and Luna. I think that one was Mystic and Luna as well. So maybe these two are Mystic and Luna as well. Because um, I'm kind of forgetting what's Mystic and Luna and what exactly is Spooky Box. So we have two here. We have a pumpkin who is amazing and sparkly. And we have um, like a spell book with the, I forget what that's, is it to try, try something or other? Um, it's basically charmed have that, don't they? Um, on the TV show. So now I think all of the rest are spooky box. So this is a little bug we got. He is pretty cool and he's a fairly good size as well. This one I absolutely love and I thought it was very unusual for um, spooky box to do. I didn't change the back of this one. But it's um, like a ram skull and it says live deliciously. So if you guys, guys have seen The Witch, um, it is a really good movie. And um, Black Phillip is in it. Um, definitely check it out. Black Phillip, Black Phillip. And um, this one, so it's a lantern. It's amazing, isn't it? And it's got like um, these swooshy, sparkly bits with... Um, some bats in it amazing it's definitely one of my favorites this is time to hibernate and it is a, like a jumper so cute this one i'm not adding this one there was two different ones you could get i think there was like a a cup or something and this is the tea cup or kettle or whatever it is but um, there's a spider in it. You can see it kind of the shape there. And I don't like spiders. So I'm not in love with that. <laughs> but um, it is still kind of nice. Not my favorite though. So this is. I'll sleep when I'm dead. And we've got some bones around it. Very interesting design. Um, Just a weird shape isn't it? But it's nice. Then we have. This guy. Just a little, this is, I love this. It's just, it's very simple, but I love it. Little cauldron, some sparkly stuff coming out of it. Little skull. So nice. So, <laughs> this is massive. Um, This is Happy Camper. And it's the tent with a little skeleton in it. This is amazing, because it's so, like, it's so big, and it's just, it's done very well. We Didn't we get two that time? Yeah, I think we got this one, and it says, there's one, so, oh. There's one that says Nightmare Fuel. I think we may have gotten them together. Um, then we have this one, which is Living Dead Girl with a little skull. I like this one a lot. This is one of the earliest ones I think we got. Um, then we have this one, which is more recent. A cracked mirror, handheld mirror, and it's really, really nice, actually. Oh, no, it may have been this one that we got. Oh, no, I, do you know what it was? I think it was this one and the Nightmare Fuel one we got at the same time. And um, this is no sleep and somebody trying to sleep and all the spooky things around them and it is an amazing pin by Spooky Box and I wish they'd do more things like that. And um, this is a skull. Let me get out of here. So this says trust no one and it is a skull. I really wish they had have done this a bit better because trust no one is obviously um X Files related. If you guys don't know, I love X Files and um I have like I'm dedicating a whole tattoo sleeve to the X-Files. So um, yeah, I wish that was a bit better. Nap Queen, true. So this one says Pastel Nightmare. And I know there was the ones that said different things. So um, I still think this is quite cute. This is like a little hand and it has um, a feather pen thing and a little bit of blood hanging from it, like ink, a really nice. 
pin. Oh yeah, this is one of my favorite, this, this pin. Anyway, it says to-do list, carry pumpkin, order a pizza, watch scary movies, eat all the candy. Amazing, I love this so much. Again, I wanna see more like this from Spooky Box. A pineapple drink, how amazing is this? This is so nice, it's very summery, I really like it. I wish right now it was very summery, but um, it is so hot, right? It's like so hot here right now. Uh, there is not a breath of air, but it is spilling rain outside and it is horrible. Um, this is like a little skull cup with some sparkly green insides. Um, really nice. This is the nightmare fuel one. Um, this one's really cool. Hang on now. This one's really cool. It says nightmare fuel and it is a spooky scary hand and you can see there's like some stars and stuff in there. This is like, this is really good. I really wish they'd done more like that. And um, this is amazing too. This is Tell Me A Ghost Story. Really lovely. Very unusual. I need to wear that one more often. This one is like a crazy cat lady one. So it has a cat and it says crazy. That is super cute. This one is like a key, but it's matte and it's really weird and it looks plastic. And I definitely don't like this very much compared to other ones I have. But um, it actually looks pretty nice like on the pin flag. So I don't know how I feel about it really. This one is also another amazing one that I love. Um, it's like a shop sign and it says funerals and cremations. I just... I really love it. It is very spooky and very gothy and I love that one a lot. Then we have this one which is Psychic. This is Psychic and we have a little moon and it is so nice. Um, it's so shiny and sparkly. So that got painful very quick and I just took them off, off screen there because like that was too hard. This is Loner and it's like a little um, banner. I love this as well. I dropped the other one on the floor so I'll get it in a minute. But um, yeah, I love that one. Um, this is another one I'm not sure about and I honestly can't figure out what way it's supposed to be. That way. That way. I don't know. It's, it's made out of that weird... Um, plasticky looking stuff again like it, you, you think it was metal but it's just it feels plasticky and it does look plastically in real life so not super fond of that one this one I absolutely love it says you're my type and it's like a vial of blood it is amazing and another one of my all time favourites very simple witch's hat give me more witch's hats and I'll be very happy so nice same goes for pumpkins Give me all of the pumpkins. I will be very, very happy. How amazing is he? He's so cute. I love him. And then we have this planchette, which I actually love as well. Oh, wait. So this way. It says, as above, so below. And it's got a little clear bit in the middle. Um, this is, this does actually feel metal. So compared to this type of one, you can even see the difference. This one looks metal. This one looks plastic. So, um... This must be some kind of stainless steel, I think. Um, it's really nice. Then this one and this one, again, is that same weird plasticky stuff, but it, it, you notice it less with these two. So this is a, a deadhead moth, which is pretty nice. A little bit of detail in there, you can see. And then this one, I really loved when I got it, but then I realized it was a dead bird. And then I was like, well, and that's sad and I don't like that. <laughs> so I both love this and don't like it because he's dead. I really wish it was more of a live bird. Or I, I don't know, I suppose maybe it's supposed to be like, you know, a taxidermy and stuff like that. But I don't really, I don't really like that one that much. But anyway, that is it. That is all of them off of this. And I have to stick them all back on now. And hopefully they there will be a bit of space for um, future ones.
so this is it with everything in its new place. So I have very little space. I have this little space here. So all of these are Mystic and Luna. And then everything else is Spooky Box. And I only have this small space. So once I fill that, I'm definitely not going to be putting any more on it. It is totally full. So guys, we are on to this pin collection. And um, I've just honestly added random ones onto this one. But um, we will start at the top. So you guys can see um, all the top ones are my neighbor Totoro pins so I actually bought these on Aliexpress and now I do not recommend buying any pins from Aliexpress from Wish from anywhere like that because they are all stolen they are all stolen designs now when I bought these I did think well hopefully the Totoro you know um, is generic enough and I have some other ones down here that I got as well that are fairly generic but in general I do not buy them from there anymore I have seen so many stolen designs so from people that I follow and stuff so um, yeah I don't recommend from buying there I won't be linking them or anything like that but um, just so you know um, that's where I got them and um, I don't buy from there anymore so I love my neighbor Totoro. So we have all of their little Totoros and then um, a little character. I think she's from the film. My May is that her name? I think it was the little kid. And then I have a my favorite murder pin, which um, I got when I think I signed up to the fan cult. I think that's when I got that one. And um, I love my favorite murder. If you guys don't know, it's a murder podcast and it's amazing. Then this one unfortunately does not work anymore. Um, this says, I solemnly swear I'm up to no good around it. And it used to react to heat. And when you put your hand on it, it would show up the map, the Marauders map from Harry Potter. And it doesn't work anymore. And I'm really, really annoyed with it and disappointed. And I actually meant to look up the original, um, like who made it and see did it happen to a lot of people because that's really lame. Um, these three here, I'm pretty sure I got in a pack. I think I did anyway. And, um, as you can see, they're all Quentin Tarantino related. So we have the end with the boot. Um, if you guys have seen, um, Death Proof, that's what that's references. Cooties, I can handle. This is obviously the milkshake from Pulp Fiction. Heads will roll. Um, this is Gogo's, um thing that she swings around in Kill Bill and um, yeah so down here we have two here we have a cupcake and a flamingo again these were very generic and they were from Aliexpress so I'm hoping they're not stolen designs but again just to let you know, guys know maybe don't buy from there this little ghosty is also from Aliexpress generic enough I've actually seen um, people on Etsy selling them and stuff so um, yeah, I don't think there was an original artist to that one. Then we have, um, a David Bowie one. It's a skull and, um, it is absolutely amazing. I love this so much. I think Steve bought me that. I'm not too sure he may have bought me that. I just trying to think now. I think he did. Um, here we have Pushing. Look how cute. This is Pushing, um, as a pumpkin and it glows in the dark and I see it every night when I walk through the hallway and I, it's glowing and it's amazing. It's one of my favorite things and I think he bought it from like it could have been Hey Chickadee or something like that wherever the pushing stuff is being sold um, I think that's when he bought me it over here we have Beetlejuice um totally forget where this is by but um I can't remember if Steve bought this for me or for himself but um some of these I will be showing in a bit um we kind of share so um yeah down here is Potions Master and it says Hogwarts on the top. This was from Penny's, I'm pretty sure. I love it. I just very simple. I love that it says Potions Master. Yes. It's the year of the bat. You guys may have seen my unboxing of this amazing pin. It is so cute, so amazing. I need to wear it more. Um, I will obviously link the video for you guys if you want to watch my unboxing about this. There is not many left of them, guys. Go get it. I love crafting with an octopus crafting. So I'm pretty sure this was like, this was from a site that I f 
totally forget Steve bought me some stuff it could be called tea something or something to do with turtles I'm not too sure um but it is really cute so the present and these two um are obviously um Flight of the Concords so when we went to see Flight of the Concords last there was a set of pins that you could buy and we got them um I love them I think they're awesome here we have um Alabama and I totally forget what his name is in oh my god where's my finger I totally forget what his name is in it but it's Christian Slater um yeah and um Patricia Arquette in True Romance absolutely love that film so much um one of my all-time favorite films um this is Enid from Ghost World amazing pin here we have E.T. again this this is a really amazing pin like it's round it's it's just the detail in it is perfect I love it so much Okay, so all four of these here, the skates, the phone, the teapot, and the typewriter, again, were bought from AliExpress. Do not recommend, but I do feel that they are generic enough, hopefully. Um, nobody is losing out on anything. Um, but again, I won't be buying from there. And then this is the most amazing pin. Can you see? It is a bearded dragon. If you don't know, I have two bearded dragons but this was given to me when I just had the one and um when I had Albie and um the haunted bat actually gave me this pin and I love it so much it is the cutest thing and I was so delighted to get this flag and actually leave it on it so that is everything from this flag and um let's go on to the next set of pins so this is my next set of pins this is on like a pegboard thing you know you can like put words in it and I got it in pennies now I do not recommend these as pin boards because they don't actually hold things very well um they like look how easy they, that came out some of them come out really easily and then it's really hard to get them back in because the basically the whole the yeah these guys the little pins can only fit in at certain angles and in certain places and um, yeah it's not great so, so this is a Jaws collection <laughs> this is Amity Police Chief so it's the badge um, if you guys have seen Jaws you know um, Chief Brody he um, where's this I'll put that back this is no swimming hazardous area beach closed so by order of Amity PD so guys, if you watch the film you'll see that there is um, a sign like this although I don't think the sides are like that I'm not too sure but um yeah I'm a massive Jaws fan I love it so much so this is like the poster from Jaws and um if you you can move him it is amazing and he's like rah, 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 rah. so it's one of these movable ones and they're pretty cool these were from Fright Rags and then the last two wore this amazing like shark fin shaped one with the boat in it the orca um quince boat and then we just have the jaws the drawers the jaws logo you see how hard they are to get back in i just don't like this i think i'm gonna get a giant flag so they can stick on it so here you have um just a little eyeball again this and the flamingo were bought on aliexpress do not recommend but um yeah so this one is the slaughtered lamb I, was this fright rags as well yeah this is fright rags so this is one of steve's this is i love this so this is from um american werewolf in london amazing oh and this one right i'm not gonna go on about this one too much because i want to do a video on it this is absolutely amazing this is one of the greatest pins i ever received as you can see it is x files it is like the hand at the very beginning of the um, titles and um i need to do a video on this because it came with a small little file um thing it just came with stuff that was really awesome so um look out for that video this is from Day Live. Again, another one of Steve's, but we kind of share. So this is, um, it's Bubo, isn't it? From Clash of the Titans. Um, obviously the original film, we don't talk about the remake. There you go. And then we have, this is the, um, this is Pale Man, isn't it? From Pan's Labyrinth, with his two weird eyes on his hands. Like another one of Steve's. Um, this is just a little dog. I think that was for like, um, giving money to dog charity or whatever. This is a little pumpkin. I have no idea where he came from, actually. 
did I buy them myself? I don't know. This is Friday the 13th. Um, that came with something that I bought for Steve. Some other um, stuff and I can't remember. Oh, do you know what it was? It was a Friday the 13th kind of little pack thing. And um, you got like air fresheners and stuff. And um, it came with that as well. So this is your man from Robocop, I'm pretty sure, isn't it? Your man that melts. Uh, again, this was Fright Rags, yeah. Um, I think all of the other Robocop ones wouldn't fit on this, but I will show you them in a minute. This is the, the, the Dillinger Escape Plan. Um, when we went to see them, bought that. Awesome. This is obviously another moving one. This is Alien. And um, I love this one. It's another moving one. I can't remember who did that one, though. If, if it was Fright Rags, I feel like they would have said on it. Um, this is one I think Steve wore a lot. It's got, it's Michael obviously from Halloween and he can stab. Was that, that's from Creepy Co. So um, they do moving ones as well. These are not going back in. Oh my God. Um, this is a Rammstein pin. This is a machine head one. They're both belonging to Steve. Down here you can see um, these are all from the same shop that I totally forget their name of um but that is henry oh my god that's henry rollins that's ian mckay the Hen henry rollins is like henry rollins <laughs> he was a, um the singer for black flag ian mckay was for minor threat and fugazi and um, this is christopher walken and this is steve buscemi and um yeah so this is um obviously okay we want to take that out this is the ring but like in on the on the tv yeah, so she kind of comes close to you. How cool is that? And it's a pin. And then we have one very similar to it. It's this one. And it's the dancing skeleton. You know, the, the ones that dance. Oh, wait, it's this way. How awesome is that? I love it so much. Who were they by? That was Creepy Co. So I'm pretty sure they did both of those. Yeah, the tellies are the exact same. This is your man from China. Big Trouble in Little China. <laughs> I couldn't remember. That's your man that's in it. Um, that's Steve's one again. Um, we'll put him over there for a second. Then this one is amazing. This is Nosferatu, right? But you shine like a light in it onto a wall. So you turn it that way. You shine the light and um, it lights up on the on your wall or wherever you're shining it. So basically it's like a little um, shadow thing. Um, it's pretty cool though and then I'd buy a dollar I'd buy that for a dollar this is again the Robocop from Fright Rags yeah so some of them obviously fit others not so much it's really annoying um, I don't like this thing so I definitely will be trying to purchase something another flag I think to sit them all on so now we have this. <laughs> I'm not even finished. <laughs> Basically, um, this is just stuff that either I don't think they would fit onto um, my flags or stuff. So I've just put them in this for now. So I apologize for any dust or that. But um, anyway, this was given to me by the Haunted Bat. She painted it and carved it herself. It is super cute. So um, I have it in here. This is the cat from Hasu. If you guys have not seen that film, you must see it. I don't know. Is it still working? No. They changed the battery. It used to um, flash its eyes red. It's an amazing pin. And I creepy coded that one again. So creepy code do amazing pins. Um, so then we have another Robocop one. That was with the collection um, of the other one. Um, um, Ed209. Is that his name? Ed. Ed. Look, it's Ed. There he is. And that was, um, it doesn't say on the back. I thought they were fright rags, but maybe they're not. So this is just a little cat, um, in a cupcake. Again, I think I got that on AliExpress. This is amazing. I really like this. It's kind of like a normal enamel pill, but then it has, like, the picture of his mouth. And, um, I think I got that for Steve. Two Ghouls Press. So, um, they're awesome. That might have been where the Beetlejuice one was from as well. Um, they do really good pins. Oh yeah, this one. Oh no, that's a match. This one and this one. And this one. <laughs> so this is the Hufflepuff cup. 
So that is from Harry Potter, which I got in a loot crate. This is a little fawn that I got in a loot crate. Harry Potter was in one and um, it's just a regular fawn. It's terrible. And then this was again from the loot crate thing. It says, neither can live while the other survives. And I mean, can you read that? Because Jesus Christ, I don't know what the hell they were playing at with that. This is like the ring and this is the Slytherin locket. So this, these are actually pretty nice. Like the Slytherin locket is really nice. So these aren't too bad, but the other ones were pretty bad. So then we have, um, oh, there's another one of these guys. It's a pumpkin cupcake thing. Um, this, I really loved this. It's a match, but I do see a lot of people have made these. So again, this could be a copy from someone. I'm not too sure. So don't buy from AliExpress. These are amazing. Um, I'm pretty sure I bought the this one and Steve bought the green one. So they say the thing, their hands, and it's the thing. And um, absolutely amazing. I love these and I totally forget where I bought them. But again, if you want to know, just ask me. This is um, Demo Borga. Um, Demo Bur Burger? Demo Burger. You know that band. Okay, I don't know them very well. <laughs> this Steve got me and I absolutely love it. Um, it is a Stranger Things and it's like, you know, normal world and then the upside down and it is amazing and it twirls, it twirls and um, it's a really good pin. Who was that by? Uh, Arcade Days. So amazing. Love that pin. Oh, this was another Harry Potter one. This is the Ravenclaw Diadem, isn't that what it's called? Don't even ask me to read that stuff. This was... Uh, this was really bad. This is really cheap. This could break super easy. That was one of the reasons why I cancelled that. Um, okay, then we have... I'll go with these two first. Oh, shit. Oh, no, look, I'll go with this. Uh, a little cool cat. I'm pretty sure... A cool grumpy cat. I'm pretty sure the haunted bat got me that. I think she did. Um, these are... These glow in the dark. They are from Mad Max, as you can see. So, as you can see, this is Mad Max. And this is a Morton Joe. So, um, this opens... Yeah, and it shows all his mouth all messed up and shit. And um, yeah, it closes. And then this one opens. And he's like, raw, And then it closes. These are probably one of the best pins I, I think I've ever seen. They're so good. Pinhead Co. Um, oh yeah, look, 50 of 50. So that's pretty cool. Um, they're so good. So I don't know if they're still being made. But they're amazing. Um, here we have um, The Thing, which is mine and Steve's, one of mine and Steve's favourite movies of all time. Do you still light up? How do I press you? There you go. Ah, you do. Just about. So it's like the poster of The Thing, if you actually know it. And there it lights up. That's pretty cool. So it's not like it's it's got one of these. So it's not an actual proper enamel pin, but I think they have to put that on because this is very chunky. But it is an, it is enamel. This is from Cavity Colors. What's this from? One of the zombie. Oh, what's the zombie? Do you know what's weird? I can think of the music, but not the feckin' name of this film. The music is in my head right now of the film. With the worm guy. Comes out of the ground. Yeah, he's out of the ground. Well, obviously, he comes out of the ground. Okay, this moves anyway. Um, I will put up on screen what it's from. I just can't remember right now. So this is from The Thing as well. And it's when your man is running off his head or whatever. And your man says, you got to be fucking kidding. And um, it is from Fright Rags. Okay, this is this is amazing. Um, this is McCready from The Thing. So another Thing one. And um, he, op like he has the flamethrower and the dynamite. And then he opens up. And all the thing is inside him. And it's just amazing. Um, if you haven't seen the thing. It's like it's not a spoiler or anything. This is just something they, they created. Um, that doesn't really have anything to do with the film. It kind of does at the same time. Um, if you've seen it you know what I mean. So we do think maybe there was meant to be magnets. Because it does fall open very easy. Um, so I don't think we could. Any, either of us could wear it very well. But um, it is still a really good piece and I really want to hang it up. So that's why I want to get one of the new flags so that he can be hung up and you'll be able to open him up and it'd be really awesome. So um, this was Arcade Days again. Who was Arcade Days? 
This was Fright Rags. So I know Fright Rags done um, done a whole series. I, I feel like there's more of these somewhere. I, I don't know. Anyway. Anyway, that was all the pins for this. So that's all of the pins I have sitting in here. Um, like I said, I really want to get them up on a flag sometime soon. This is my Lone Gunman pin. It came with a sticker and um, it's on this amazing, this is just a card, but it's amazing. And it's by Pseudo Ludo. You will see that they do an amazing range of pins. They do really good ones. So you have um, Fro Hickey, Langley and Byers. And um, they look absolutely amazing. And it's massive. You can see like it is really big and it has six backs on it. And I love it so much. Sorry if you can hear Merle tipping. What are you doing in the... Why have you gone in there? So yeah, this is definitely one of my favourite all-time pins. I love it so much. I find it hard to even just take it off this. Because it's such a nice piece of card, but I probably eventually will. And um, put it up on my pin flag. It's awesome. And finally, guys, we have the last few. So I went around some jackets and I got these off of them. Um, this is the handbook for the recently deceased from Beetlejuice. Um, no idea who did this. So you've got me yet and it was just on a jacket in there. I absolutely love it. It's so nice. Um, this is another spooky box one. So I probably add it to the spooky box flag, pin flag. It's just a coffin. And this one is Wednesday Adams and she is like... Uh, skeleton and um, it glows in the dark and this is why cavity colors and it's a really really nice pin so then I also have pins on this jacket so the first one up here is 11 again I've no idea who did this I can't remember where I got it but um, I will try and source what I can but it's 11 from stranger things really love it this is a, like a vest jacket that I really love and then these two are um, Mulder and Scully Scully has her big massive phone saying Mulder to me and Mulder is saying trust me Scully. There is no name on the back so I have no idea who um, actually made them. And then this side we have um, Nancy. So this is amazing. I love this. This is Nancy from The Craft and um, I think it's done really well. I love it. But again I can't remember where I bought it. But um, yeah I love it. And then... Here we have this ghost and it says, I believe in you. This was a spooky box one and um, I absolutely love it because it's massive. Like compared to regular pins, it's really big and um, want more pins like that. It's amazing. And then we have Dale Cooper and um, it's his like um, silhouette and his um, clothes, his shirt and stuff. And then inside of his head is the Black Lodge with the stripy um, floor and the red velvet curtain. And um, that is it. That is all that is on this jacket. And I think that is now all of my pins. I think I went through everything, I think. <laughs> I hope. God, I hope. <laughs> because I searched high and low and I think that is all of my pins that I have. So you can see this is a vest. I love it. I actually need to wear this more. Like, especially now because, you know, if it's hot out, you're not going to get too hot in this. Amazing little pins. So, like I said I would, I forgot. I left out this jacket. And um, it wasn't until I was editing this video and looking on the Spooky Box website, I realised I had many of them that um, was on the website. So, <laughs> this one, these four are from Spooky Box. This one is like a Victorian hand with a rose. Again, it's that weird like not really metal but it's supposed to be a metal look and um, it is really lovely though this one the design is really nice this is spooky little bat I love him he's very cheeky looking and um, this is a broom again with that weird metal but it's actually quite a nice one because it's a broom and then this one has a heart and it says bite me with a little pink bat I love that one too really love that they go all really nice together then over this side we have ghost stories this is another spooky box one and um, I really love that one. So it's a book of ghost, ghost stories. <laughs> it's really good. This is an amazing Hocus Pocus pin. I completely forget who did it. Um, it could have been Creepy Co. Oh no, it was Cavity Colors. Cavity Colors did this one. It is one of my favorites. It's absolutely amazing. Um, it's glitter in the sky there. It's all their faces. And then down here you can see um, the little cat Binks. 
and there's some webs there and then it's sparkly um purple it's really nice merle what are you doing <laughs> sorry for all the noise he's creating he's sniffing and this one goes along with the other one this is billy butcherson from hocus pocus obviously this is so well done and so awesome and i forget this could be two ghouls press i think who do this i will link everything below anyway and um yeah so that's some on this jacket that i had completely forgotten about but um they're last but not least okay guys i hope you enjoyed that that was difficult um that was very very hard to film <laughs> a lot a lot of energy went into that i don't know why it was so difficult but i tried to show them as best as i could and i really really hope you enjoyed it um let me know what your favorite pins were if you want to know where i got one just like give me a shout and i'll 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 try my best to um figure out where exactly i got it from and um that is all from me. I will see you guys in my next video. And um, yeah, how many do you have in your pin collection? Because I think I have too many. <laughs> I also meant to say I keep my pins just at the door here. Um, I used to have them on a board actually that was just here. But I got rid of it and I got the flags and I hang them in my hallway. Because I feel when I'm leaving the house, I'm more likely to see them and be like, oh yeah, I should wear one of those. Or put that one on or whatever. And um, I'm more likely to wear them. And people are more likely to see them as well. To show them off because they are, like they are works of art. They are so lovely. And it's really nice to have um, a flag or whatever you have to just display them on. Or a, a pin board or whatever it is that you have. Anyway, I'll go now and thanks so much for watching. Bye guys!